for this look i'll be demonstrating how to style your vine wrapper and your vine bubble sheets when i first came across this top i really liked it but just a little bit of a challenge styling this for me personally but then i figured out how to do it and how not to make both prints and then both um styles get too overwhelming depending on your body type so i just go again with my signature wrap style which is this so depending on how you actually want to look you can have this in the middle or you can have this by the side um i prefer side so when you're doing yours you can do it however so for me i just want to take this after tying this as opposed to tying in knots here by the waist i just go like a twist so this way i've made like a belt so can you hang on to this for me so i just go over the waist in this way as well so i just i do like a firm knot here I also don't like doing the bow at the back because it kind of gets bulky. So once I'm done with this, um, I hide the rubber as well, or I hide the strings as well. So at the end of the day, this is what we have here. Um, you can leave this this way, or you can put them all in. Sometimes after tying the wrappers, I kind of figure out or I realize that I have something like this. So I just try to turn this the other way so we can have an even. So here you have, here you have this. I personally like to have this around this area so the bubble forms um properly so i just go over this twice and then not a firm bow so here you have your vine bubble shirt and your vine wrapper optionally i could do this like take down a few buttons and then have this open as an off shoulder top or just like a loose neckline as well so here we have the vine bubble shed and the vine wrapper okay let's see you all thank you